everyone welcome back to another tutorial how you are doing today hope you're doing great if you're watching me for the first time you're welcome to the family my name is Cynthia and for my returning subscribers you guys are the best so in today's video we're gonna be making this dress I'll be making use of three years of fabric 16 inches by length I think this is a chiffon fabric I have my fabric folded into two I'll be cutting the front and the back together the back is one and a half inches bigger than the front because of zipper allowance the full length of the dress is 43 inches the ruffle is 10 inches while the upper part is 32 inches so this is the upper part what I have here is 33 inches plus sewing allowance so go ahead and place the measurement half of the shoulder measurement is 8 inches plus half in sewing allowance that's 8 and half inches I will mark 3 and half inches for the wideness of the neck I will mark 1 inch for the back depth and 3 inches for the front depth So we connect it. This is the back, and this is the front. I will go to the shoulder here and mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect this one inch to the neckline. Right from the shoulder slope, I will take half of the armhole measurement. So my round armhole measurement is 18 inches, divided by 2 is 9 inches. I'll mark 9 inches here. I'll mark it in half inches here, sir. Okay, I will make a straight line here. So this is my chest line. I will look for the midpoint of the arm hole, which is four and a half inches. I will curve it right from this four and a half inches. So this is my back arm hole. So from this midpoint, I will go inside by half inch. I will connect it. This is my front arm hole. This is my bust measurement. That is a ten and a half inches plus sewing allowance. This is my waist measurement, seventeen and a half inches plus sewing allowance. And the hip is 24 and a half inches plus sewing allowance. Let me make a line here. So we'll go ahead and place the circumference measurement. The quarter of the post measurement is 10 and a half inches. I will add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. That's 12 inches. The waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. I will add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. So I'm not going to be adding that to this dress. So I'll mark 10 and a half inches plus sewing allowance. The quarter of the hip measurement is 11 and a half inches plus one and a half inches sewing allowance. That's 13 inches. So to place the measurement for the bottom part, I will minus one and a half inches from the hip measurement. So let me see what I have here. I have 13 inches here, that's the hip measurement. 
13 minus 1 and half is 11 and half inches. So I will go to the damp part here and place 11 and half inches here. You can mark, you can reduce 1 inch if you want. So I will go ahead and connect the lines. I will connect it from the chest to the waistline. From waist to hip. And from hip to the lamp part. I will go to the waistline here and there. Mark half inch. So I will connect this half inch to the upper part. So I will take it to here. And then take this one to the side. I'm taking this half inch in order to have a flat on the balance zip. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll cut out the back neckline. So I'll bring out the front one and cut out the neckline. I'll cut out this half inch. I'll cut out the sleeve before we make the slant. The sleeve is a gather sleeve. I'll be adding elastic to the tip of the sleeve. So the length of the sleeve is 16 inches. Now because I'll be adding elastic to the tip, I will add 4 inches to it. Because after adding elastic to it, the sleeve will bounce up. So I will add 4 inches to it. So I have 22 inches here. I'll be using the 2 inches for elastic and the sewing allowance. My sleeve is folded into two. I'm cutting out the two sleeves. Normally I'm supposed to measure 10 inches here. Okay, I will be making it times 2 because of the gather. So what I have here is 21 inches. 21 inches here and uh, 21 inches down. I will be making 21 inches and 21 inches down. I will gather this side and add elastic to the damp part. So I will take it like so. I will just bring this to the damp part. Go ahead and cut it out. So that's it for the cutting. So we'll go ahead and open up the front and the back. This is the back. I the zip allowance inside so I will make sure right side are facing each other so that I can make this slant. I will join them together right side facing each other my slant will be on this side that's the right side so it depends on you you have to choose where you want your slant to be so we'll go ahead and make the slant so this is the hip line So I will make the slant right from the hip line. So I'll connect it from here to this end here. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So, so we have cut out the slant. What we are going to do is to join the fabric together. I will add facing to the neckline and then add my zip to the back side. I will use the neckline to cut out the facing. So I will lay this on top.
I'm cutting out one and a half inches facing. So I'll cut out the other side also. I will use the facing to turn the neckline. I will place it like so right side facing each other. Sew it here and turn it to the other side. I will do the same thing for the back side. So after I've done that, I will add my zip to the back. So this is my zip allowance. My zip is up to here. I will use one and a half inches to sew it on this side and use one and a half inches for the other side. Then stitch up the remaining part. I will stitch it up to here and leave about four inches open. That's the back side. I'm done attaching the zip to the back side. And I've also used the facing to turn the neckline. So what we are going to do next is to join the front and the back together. I will lay the front and the back against each other. I will use half inch to join the shoulders and use one and a half inches to join the side. One and a half inches is a sewing allowance. I will start sewing it right from the armpit here all the way to the down side. I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back together. So we'll go ahead and then cut out the down part. I will measure here and times it by three. The reason I'm timesing it by three is because the down part is gathered. So I have 22 and a half inches on this side and there are 22 and a half inches on this side which is 45 inches so I will cut out times 3 or 45 inches so times 3 is 135 inches like I said earlier the length is 10 inches so I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance that is 11 inches this is 435 inches well, I've already hemmed the button, so I have ten and a half inches here. I will use the half inch to join it to the upper part. So I will take it to my machine and use my gather stitch to gather it. I will just see it here, right on this place, around. I will also gather the sleeves. Let me open the sleeve. So we gather. Use the gather stitch. To gather the upper part here, that's the sleeve cap. After joining them together, then I will sew this down part. That's where I'm going to insert my elastic. So this is the gather. I don't need to pull it again. My machine has already done the job. So I will see if it's up to the measurement I'm looking for. Yeah, 22 and a half inches. So I have 20. Three inches here. I'll just pull it a little bit. I will take one strand of the thread, one strand from this, and one strand from this, and then I will pull it up to the measurement I want. Just need to pull it a little bit. If your machine cannot make it gather, you just pull it the way I'm pulling it. After using the longest stitch in your machine to sew it, you will take one strand from this and one strand from this, and you pull it. So I think this is okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, this is okay. I also gather the sleeves. So I have about a uh, 10 inches here. So I will join the sleeve here with one inch and attach this to the upper part. I will start from here. Remember, I left this place on sewed. So I will make sure right side are facing each other. So I will use half inch to join them together. I will join the sleeves also. So guys, I'm done joining the upper part to the down part. So this is the back side. I've also stitched up this zip area. 
we go ahead and attach the sleeve to the dress. So I'll sew this side of the sleeve. I will fold one and a half inches inside. Then take a quarter of an inch, sew it round. I will leave one inch open. That is where my elastic will go through. So I will go ahead and attach the sleeve to the dress. I will turn the sleeve to the right side. And then turn the dress to the wrong side. I will tuck the sleeve inside and match the side seam together. I will use half inch to join the sleeve to the dress. I will sew it round. I finish attaching the sleeve to the dress. My round sleeve here is 12 inches. So I'll be cutting out 9 inches elastic. I will use my safety pin to insert it. I will pass it through this 1 inch I left on sewed. I'll secure this side. I will use a zigzag stitch to join the elastic together and the stitch of this one inch. So we are done with the dress. The sleeve. Let me turn it to the back side. This is the back. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Love you guys. Bye.